everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and we are here to do a painting. I've already got a base coat down, kinda. I don't really like it, so we'll see what happens. It's not very full coverage, but it will level itself out. So we're gonna kinda do the same thing we did yesterday, but we're gonna try to make it not look so cool that I don't wanna continue. So my theory is to just not use so many colors. I know two, three was a whole lot. Um, so I'm just using white and green. And I think this will actually go better with what I want to do anyways. So I think this was a genius idea. But I am happy that I did what I did yesterday because we got a totally cool painting out of it. Here, let's just see. I'm just going to... Okay, some more's coming out. This is empty. I need to mix up some more. But I was hoping to get away with one more painting without having to do it. Technically, it's self-leveling. Technically, Veronica doesn't... is a perfectionist and doesn't like it when it's not level immediately. <laughs> is what that boils down to. So, and then just manipulate it a little bit more, and then we'll get started. Um, today's paints are, the white was Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, mixed with Floetrol and water. The green, and all the other colors we'll have today, will be, I might have to go look, actually. Their Masters Touch. I think I remembered that much. I'm just going to prop that for a second. And we'll check look. Yeah, they are Masters Touch. Oh, that looks so cool. Here, actually. I want to turn it around and get this going this way now. Okay. Sorry. Alright. They're Master's Touch Pearlescent Acrylic Paint. And these are just mixed with Floetrol. There's no water in this because it didn't need it. Alright. We're going to call that good. If I need to touch it up after the fact, I can do that. Alright. Let's see here. I like it. I like it a lot. But which direction do we want it to go in is the question. And I think the answer is this way. Alright. So today's painting is going to be a redo of our balloon smash. Because that was several days ago. Probably several months ago. <laughs> Where I was doing things I'd never done before. I'd never done it. It did not come out as intended. Um, if it... Oh, I have it. I was going to say, if it was close, I would show you. But it is close, so I will show you. This is what we had. We did a flip cup, I believe, of blues to make it kind of oceany. And then we did, like, purple, two different purples and white for the smash. And... Just not what I was going for. So, we're going to do it again. So, that's why the green is down. Hopefully, th these will resemble some sort of flower when we're done. Um, and so, I've got my balloon. And I've got some paint. Uh, I've got the pink, purple, blue, orange... I'm just assuming that's what these colors are called. Yeah, I guess the pink is actually rose, but everything else is right. And then yellow. So, we will get started here and see what we can do. So, 
So we will start on the pink one. Wish me luck. Oh, well that didn't work at all. We'll keep going, but I'm less hopeful now. <laughs> when things don't turn out exactly the way you planned them to. Wonder. Nope. Although that one turned out pretty cool. <laughs> Look, there's cells on the balloon. <laughs> That's really cool. idea. Probably won't work. We'll find out. Let me move this over. Okay. I'm going to kind of do the same thing. Ooh, look at this. Now I think I'm going to try to see if I can transfer that. Nope. My plan was to have like two of them, but it didn't work. Still kind of cool. I definitely that one. That one's growing on me. I think it's paint though. Okay. Now we've got purple on the balloon. Let's see what happens if I smush it here. Not a whole lot. I don't know how you guys do this. This is not my expertise here, clearly. Do purple, pink, and then purple, and then yellow. I'm gonna do three colors and see if that helps us at all. Because we have this beautiful painting here. Let's try to salvage it somehow. I'm trying to see if there's like a way I'm supposed to like go down on it or like the way I'm supposed to pick it up. I do have to say this one's really looking cool. try to do that. And that time I kind of like went in at an angle and pushed down. Oops, sorry. Angle and pushed down and lifted. So we'll try that. I'm happy with that one, I think. It looks like it's going to sell out, so I'm I'm hopeful. Let me know what you think or if you have any uh, tips for me. <laughs> Clearly I need them. Ooh, that's got all kinds of colors in it. Probably shouldn't have done that one. That looks cool. Okay, now that just got muddy. It's very um sparkly from the pearlescent. Here's the paper towel just so you can see it. Oh see it like shine might be hard to get on the camera but it's definitely like there we go shimmery now what to do with it 
Ooh, let's blow on it and see what happens. I guess first we can torch it. Hmm, should I blow on it? Probably. are supposed to resemble leaves. We, if I like it when it dries, we can always come back in and embellish it later. Make it look more like what we are going for. I'll bring it in for the close-up. Alright. Still not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's okay. Uh, this one's got all those pretty colors in there. Blues, yellows, pinks, oranges, probably some purples. These two are mainly pinks and purple and some orange. This one's the one I did the least to. I like this one a lot. That might be my favorite one, actually, looking at it now. And this one's mainly just all blown. And we got our stems that hopefully will level out, and some leaves is what those were. Here's the overview shot. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave them in the comments. I clearly need help with this technique. And if you have any questions, I will answer those there as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.